Whoa, howdy folks, <laughs> coffee and tools. And this week, uh, brand new tool. Mm, love new tools. Oh yes. <laughs> I've got some orbital sanders and really not spectacular or happy with any of them. So we're gonna take a look at a brand new one that has a little bit of a new design to it and it's got some really cool features. We're gonna go over all this and the manufacturer or the supplier has given me a link that I can offer you guys so you can get a discount if you decide to buy one of these uh, in the next, I guess in the next few weeks. They didn't give me a time limit on that, I don't think. So we're gonna talk about this one. This is uh, uh, from Jealous and it's a uh, fairly new, I guess we'll call it a young you know, tool company. It's an up and comer. And this is a new design for orbital sanding. Orbital sanding is awesome for whether you're working on a car doing body work or whether you're a woodworker like working on something that you want to, you know, sanding is, well sanding sucks, let's, let's tell the truth, but, but an orbital sander to me can do a great job or it can really mess up your work. <laughs> And you can decide which one you're going to do. There's uh, increments and steps like starting out with like a 60 or an 80 grit, move to like a 120 and then a 180, and clean in between, of course, when you're going to do that sort of thing. There's lots of cool uh, tips and you know tricks out there with orbital sanders. Uh, the one big problem that I've always had is I have a tendency to stop my sanding after a long period of time, rip the sandpaper off, slap another one on, and that because of the heat buildup you're actually destroying the Velcro. And also, when you take the sandpaper off, you should be really careful. And I found over the years, after a few destroyed orbital sanders, that if you pinch down on the, the pad first, and then slowly you know, peel off the uh, sandpaper so you can change the sandpaper out, that the whole thing will just last so much longer. This one here supposedly has double life. And the reason behind it, I understand what they're saying, is at least in theory, is it has a hardened uh, carbon brush. Let's get this monkey out so we can see it. You know, <laughs> open box time. I don't like open box. So let's just get it out of the box and let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. And one of the nice things about this particular kit, I really like it because they include a nice pack of sand, nice pack of sanding discs right here. And Theoretically, all of this is in millimeter, of course, when you're looking at it, but this is a five inch, you know, standard five inch pad, not a big deal, but they, they describe it, uh, I think they've got it here on the box somewhere, yeah. Uh, paper base size, 125 millimeter. You know, if you're an American, uh, you're in the US, that 125 millimeter means nothing to you. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is take a look, it's a five inch, five inch disc, so. Let's move on. Oh man, she's bagged. She's almost ready to go. This one here, I really like this model because you can, uh, it's got nice locking, it has a nice locking adjustment on this handle. And that was one of the things that I noticed immediately with this particular one because in the past, I haven't liked some of my sanders because you have to sort of hold them this way or something to sand with. This one here, you've got that nice handle. So you already have nice control over what you're doing. And that's the other thing I wanted to talk about a little bit, just mention it is when you're sanding, don't you know do this business. It's, it's really detrimental to the work. You're gonna create more problems than you had to begin with. This is your off switch, your on switch. And it's real nice positive. You can grab it with your thumb, switch it on and off. I like that feature. It feels good in the hands. It has the, the typical uh, Velcro type attachment for your sandpaper. Not a big problem there. It does come with these. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit. This, even the manufacturers say it, about 70%. So you should probably still wear, uh, you should have a dust mask on when you're using these things. And expect dust, you're gonna get it. If you want to improve on that, you can uh, hook up back here and get a vacuum on there to, you know, suck the extra dust off to help keep the work area clean. And it does help. It, it pays in many ways because a lot of times when you're using the heavy grit, especially like the 60 or the 80 grit, some of that grit breaks off and it kind of ends up in your work. You can't even see it, but it's there and it is going to cause screw up. So if you're using like a heavy vacuum cleaner or something or a dust collector on these, a lot of times you can get that grit out of there and you won't even have to deal with it. You won't see it. You'll get a better finish all the way around. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to mention was the cord on this one. This one comes with a really long cord and again, 
Yay! Finally, somebody somebody gives you more than a you know four feet of electrical cord where I don't have to have the extension cord up on the bench while I'm uh, running the running the tool. So we're gonna get the cord out and just show you. Look at this thing. Look at us. Huh? 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 <laughs> huh? Look at that cord. That is exceptional. I that is. You know that they should get the Nobel Prize just for the amount of extension cord or, or cord they give you on this tool. So and it's protected, of course. This is the a 110 machine. Let's get the duster on it and let's do uh, some sanding with it. Look at that. We're almost ready to go. Now I'm working on a project right now, so that's what we'll we'll jump onto, and we'll plug this bad boy in, and we'll get. We're gonna go. Um, I'm towards the finish of the product, so we won't go heavy on this one. But what I'll do, let's have a look at all this. Look at all this. This is this is the best part about when you get a tool and it comes with the stuff you need. You don't have to run back to the store and say, "Oh, I forgot to buy sandpaper." No, you didn't. Sandpaper is in the box, <laughs> and they have all different grits here. So I've got I've got 120. I've got 60. 60 is really good if you you want to take it down <laughs> and 320 320 is really a high over the top kind of finish but if it depending I get on your work a lot of times you might want to go up to a 320 I very rarely go above 220 240 that's usually where I peak out at but uh, sometimes 320 would have been a good idea and I'll give you an example if you're doing like automotive refinishing somewhere on a body panel or something and you're finished at 320, you'll actually go higher than this if you want a really smooth finish on that body panel. But, but a 320 for like an automotive application would be an ideal. Or if you were sanding something uh, down and you were trying to create a certain swirl design or something like that, I guess you could, you know, run a 320. The, uh, I've got 240, 180, and I've got a couple of each. So that's a nice, really, I, ha I have to give it to uh, Jealous here that they really thought this out well because they give you a nice selection of the various sandpapers and the various grits that you probably need for most wood projects. Because of what I'm doing today, I'm actually going to look for something in here and say, let's go with, uh, I got 120, that's not bad, but I'd like to go a little higher than that, 120. Let's go with, let's see, 240. Yeah, 240 is about what I need because I'm refinishing the top. Now I've already sanded this thing down with uh, orbital sanders as it stands, and I've been over and over this job to death. But the 240 that would be good. Let's talk a little bit about why it's double life. Carbon brushes. This is still a carbon brush motor. I still like the carbon brush stuff. Uh, the new brushless stuff that's come out is is not bad, but I'm seeing a lot of burning up motors and. A lot of problems. Maybe we haven't quite got the technology down just yet. And just like the other thing, I have a battery operated uh, oscillating sander. And the battery one, from the get go, it's heavy, it's clunky, and the battery is just sort of, it's really hard on the battery, and it takes the battery down pretty quick. And it's a uh, matter of fact, shall we mention the name? Sure. Ryobi. Oh. But this one here is corded. I love the corded for a lot of things like this because you can plug in. You know you got to. You know you're on your way. You, you get to go with it. So the other thing, the first other feature that I like about this particular model, besides having a power cord so that you can you know run this, the hardened carbon brushes that should last like twice as long as most carbon most carbon brushes. So this is a good long machine. So it should last you a, a lifetime maybe. I don't know. Should last a long time. It has speed control right at the very front here. And we can dial this thing down to one or we can dial it up to all the way up to six for you know maximum you know RPMs kind of thing. And that's really good too because a lot of times the work gets too hot. And that's one of the things you want to avoid, depending on what you're working on, but a lot of times heat can be a real problem too. And so if you can control the speed a little bit and just kind of you know gently get the sanding job done, you're going to get a better finish, you're going to be happier with it, you're going to feel like it's a more professional look to it. So that's a really cool thing. Now, what else have we got here? Well, we also have user-friendly design, ergonomic rubberized grip, two handles. Yep, got the two handles here. I mean, look at this. That 
is better than any orbital sander I've owned in the past because you have two places you could hold on to this guy. And again, you can grab that and just shut it off if you're, you know, say, hey, I need to stop. Okay, bang, you know, I stopped. So <laughs> as a review, I'm going to say, yeah, so far the product looks great. Let's put it, let's put some work on this bad boy, shall we? Yeah. First thing is it's really smooth and it's it's for the type of machine that it is this is probably the quietest one I've ever had and uh, like I said I like some of the features that we've got going on here I really like this cord I sort of the, usually I have to bring an extension cord over here to the bench to plug a power tool in this one actually made it all the way back there to my uh, 10 outlet box back here so I didn't have to plug it in uh, over here by the bench now this is taking this down really quickly which that's fine. What I'm doing with this table today, and this will become a Center Island uh, tabletop, this is a elongated uh, project of sand, coat it. Sand it down, coat it, and just keep going until we get the finish that we're really looking for. In fact, after this, whew, <laughs> I may have to call it quits. This little guy is already taking it down pretty quick. Uh, I've got it in real time, and I've got the microphone and everything set for you know what would normally be loud so that'll give you guys a really good idea as to how good or loud this thing is it's not bad at all the other really wonderful thing is this handle I am really liking this <laughs> this handle that's huge because that just makes it so easy to deal with this thing plus I like the stop switch I like the variable speed. I also like the five inch disc because that's that's pretty much uh, the deal. Now when it gets hot I like to try to get a knife like a pocket knife or something like that even and just kind of hold it down in there a little bit and then start your start your pad and peel it off and hopefully when it's cooler. If the tool is really hot I would even leave the tool laying around for a minute. Go have a coffee of course and then come back and you know and, and you know peel your sandpaper off because otherwise when it's hot a lot of times if it's really hot from sanding you're going to damage the hook and loop on these things and that's that's not a good thing construction wise it, it feels good it's got a nice you know feel even up to here like a palm sander plus you have the two handles so I think the um, Jealous made a really good design on this one I think they did a terrific job I also like how quiet it is and I like the features so we're going to give this guy probably about the five coffee cups up today rating because this thing, this thing seems to be doing everything it should do and uh, that's doing its job. It's orbital. We're going to talk about orbital I guess a little bit. Now this is tight right now because it's brand new. This will loosen up over time but what's happening is this is going around and around like in a circle but it's also going around on a bearing in here about 1.5 millimeter which is very little doing a little circular pattern and that's giving you that nice you know sanding down you know sanded down finish which is what we want over time this will loosen up like I said this is kind of tight right now but that's expected so you can, sort of, you can sort of see that now when you're running them another tip is to you and some people will take like a grease pen or something and put a little mark here just make sure it's going around that, it's, that this disc is actually making a circle because otherwise you've got too much pressure and too much pressure again is going to create all kinds of uh, mess with the work so there's a lot of things about these tools that uh, you know it's just an orbital sander not really you should learn a little bit about how to use it and some of the tips and tricks of orbital sanding I think uh, somebody out there has a really good show on it I think it's Stubby Nubs I believe over there uh, he's got really uh, a good YouTube channel that has uh, some talk about how to preserve these things and how to use them correctly for when you're doing woodworking and so I've always appreciated his show big shout out to uh, Norman I believe it is this week in uh, Scotland uh, big shout out to Robin over in Germany saying hi to a bunch of different people around the town also uh, Kaisen over there up uh, towards uh, Austin Texas uh, got himself a 
a nice t-shirt this week I believe and uh, just just saying shout out to a bunch of people this week and talking about jealous orbital sanding now I will provide a link in the description below which will provide a discount for you it's not affiliated with me I don't sponsor you don't get any money out of the deal but it will give you a discount code which will help you a coupon code to get money off of this guy I think they're uh, I don't even know what the bottom price is on it right now. It was $39, but after the discount, it'd probably be less than that. So you can get a great deal on these at Amazon right now. And of course, if you need an orbital sander, this is a nice, this is a really nice machine to have. So I like it. And in fact, one of the old ones I have, I think might be hitting the trash can later today, as a matter of fact. That's how much I like this guy. It seems like it's a really good sander. And it came with uh, a warranty. It also comes with uh, a little warranty card and you know you've got your instruction manual that sort of thing with it and look at this you know heck I think I got about twenty dollars worth of sandpaper <laughs> the tool comes with you get a nice selection of sandpaper right off the bat so like I said that's that to me is that says a lot I, I, I like I like it when people think the sort of thing out so let's take a look at the features overall anyway so, uh, double life with the uh, carbon brushes which are a you know special design by for orbital sanders that it adopts to the orbital sander to last twice as long as uh, normal sanders variable speed dial up to six speeds so you can go anywhere from 6,000 to 13,000 rpms uh, you can do one to three for polishing four to six for rough grinding it has a 450 watt or 3.8 amp motor sander and can easily sand wood metal, plastic, rubber, and other materials for to a smooth finish. The uh, dual action sanding, of course, uh, not much has to be said about that. It is an eccentric uh, vibration texture, so, which makes it a very smooth feeling when you're running it. User-friendly design, yeah, we, we know all about that. It, it does. It has a front handle to adjust to allow sanding into corners or fine areas, so you can get that handle out of your way if you need to. 70% uh, on the dust collection efficiency, which is, which is good. If, the um, Jealous Sander committed to creating a healthier working environment. Okay, not so easy fall off. The bottom plate adopts with the thorny paste design. Okay, it uses hook and la uh, loop, which is more wear resistant. And also the package, as you saw, includes uh, 18 pieces of various uh, sanding grits, which can meet different applications for ideal furniture and handcrafts. So yeah, there's your main uh, features on this one. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, one of the good bad things, this is fabulous to hold on to. The bad thing is you might have a tendency to lean down or push on it. And again, with an orbital sander, you don't want to be doing that. Let the machine do the work. Boy, have I ever heard that over and over again my whole life. Stand back, let the machine do the job, not you. You know, don't want to be pushing the drill bit through the hole kind of thing. Let the drill do it, or in this case, let the sand and let it do a nice job for you. This is uh, looking like, I'll tell you, uh, they were not worried about sending this over to me for a review today, and I can see why they were not worried about it, because they know they've got a pretty darn good product right here. This thing feels good, sounds good, it runs good. It's got some terrific features, the six speed control, the switching, the handle, dust bag and everything. Wow, jealous. Uh, what a terrific machine. Anyways, guys, I'm going to provide links to, below so you can take a look for this on Amazon. It's uh, on sale priced right now, so uh, you can get a great deal on it. And if you watch this show and use the link provided, you will get an even better price. I think they're talking, the manufacturer, I believe they were talking somewhere between 8 and 10% off on top of the other deals with Amazon. So, yeah, this is definitely something you might want to pick up right now if you're into woodworking or or car body work for that matter. You're gonna have to have one anyways, and really a plugged, a, you know, a corded model, even if you have a battery model, a corded model is, is a really good backup or even a main machine, because I've got battery machines here, and you can't beat the cord, at least, no, not really. You know, the corded model, terrific. Where are we gonna go here? Well, I think we're gonna say uh, thank you 
so much again this week for uh, sending this over. Jealous that what an awesome machine. Obviously, you knew that when you sent it to me. There's the box. There's the picture. You know, and look at that. All that sandpaper plus all the manual information on the sander itself. And so I have to thank you guys all again for. Thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, lots of more. Oh, lots of goodies coming up. But this, this has been a pleasure and a lot of fun, and what an awesome little machine! Yes.